In this video, you will see me having fun, doing workouts, shopping, going to work, cooking my own food, and of course, study. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sam's Glamour Diary, and this is NCLEX vlog number three. This video is going to be a bit different because it all started with parties. My favorite Shreya Ghoshal was coming to my city. Was I supposed to miss it? No way! And this is what happened next. update so i'm going to my friend's surprise birthday party and i did nothing today except sleeping and making my skin glow Bye. i wasn't really over with the concert and second party came up guess what i enjoyed it time to pick up the books today as the new week starts we start with a new unit so um catching up with renal i haven't done that before and honestly renal is my weakness i'll try to finish that up i'm not gonna say i'll do it because i couldn't at the end but i'll try to finish that up and i'll try to do integumentary questionnaire after that because i have to attend a family get together today i don't know what's happening in october bro every day every single day is it's a get together <laughs> all right bye i was vlogging i just oh my god and I don't know what's happening to me. I feel so sleepy since I'm eating heavy foods, which, which is making me feel very sleepy. I did study for two hours till now. It's 12 p.m. and I'm going to go to library. It takes me a huge effort to get ready and go to library. But I know, if I go there, I've got nothing else to do but just study. In this way, I kind of restrain myself. And honestly, it does save my plenty of time because I get easily distracted and there, just being there, keeps me in check. I can say I had a good day studying today. It's 8, 10 p.m. And I just came from Gudwara Sahib. Um, it was good for today. All I ask from God is strength. That's it. I don't ask, oh my God, to just make me pass it. No. I don't want to pass it with just guessing, merely guessing and there in the hospital, killing some patient. Duh. I want to have strength. So maybe, maybe. Just keep going babe, you'll pass it. By the way guys, I'm sharing the books that I've followed, the YouTube channels I've seen to study and question banks that I've used. Everything is in the description box down below and do comment if you find it helpful. I'm a 13, 10, 10. I did the questionnaire. It was a very good one, honestly. It was like leadership management questionnaire, delegation, prioritization. I scored well in that, but I failed. <laughs> What was going now when I failed, right? Good morning. I was trying to do some renal questions from you world. I am dead in you world. I have to say, the questions, they're actually pretty confusing. I mean, I might know the answer, but I don't know. I mean, it just, it, it never gets correct. It never gets correct, no matter what. Okay, let's talk about my study approach. Studying for NCLEX can be really draining. When I first started studying, millions of questions were literally banging my head. How am I going to do it? What should I study first? Oh my god, what should I start with? There's so many units, how am I going to complete it? OMG, am I even going to remember all this stuff? What if a question came I don't know about? And the most horrifying one, what if I failed? 
Well, babe, you are going to fail if you don't study. If you're watching this video, you might be going through the same, but let's get it straight. Once you start studying, and when I mean start studying, means pick up a unit, dig deep into it, everything will fall into place. Trust me, it will. You will develop your own approach. And instead of following somebody else's, you will love it. My favorite part after a good time studying is grocery shopping. After library yesterday, I didn't study anything because I was feeling a lot relaxed and satisfied with what I did today, like studying six hours a day. That's good. I'm done. I don't know why I woke up this relaxed. I'm so calm, quiet, not stressed because I feel Yes, I am picking up the pace, which is actually a pretty good thing for me. Um, I'm studying renal pharmacology. Yeah, because I'm just left with this thing and then I'll be done with renal, but just question bank will be left. So I'm planning on completing this pharmacology and then I'll do integumentary revision. I'll do renal question bank and then integumentary question bank. Let's study hard now. when I can say I studied hard because my legs are paining, my back is paining, but I didn't move. I kept on doing that. Every day is not a good day. Exactly, 12.15 in library. I'm gonna study from 12.30 to 6.30, I guess. Hey, Mom. Yes? I couldn't keep up today. I did have a choice, actually. I could have had energy drink, but just because I had it yesterday, I didn't want to, you know. I've been reading all these energy drinks, um, side effects, adverse effects. I've been feeling it lately and I didn't want to give it a go today. I don't know why, but I'm feeling really low. I can have a nap and then maybe I'll feel fine. The thing is, um, since I'm gaining weight, I've been feeling short of breath and like really lethargic. I don't like this feeling, but it's okay. This this is some stress talking for sure, but we will be on the track. Bye. Are we giving up? No, no way. way. I get easily stressed when I'm tired, but naps do work well for me. Try it. Maybe it'll work for you as well. Do not skip on workouts. Good morning, morning. I studied till 12 last night. I was doing um, nurse plus questions and they were really good. I mean, I didn't pass, but the questions were really good. It was mind juggling. Yeah, I felt very good. I studied till night before going to bed. Otherwise, I'm usually on my phone watching serials and everything, but this time it was different. I really have expectations from this exam. Babe. I'm exceptionally motivated today.
I made planners, two of them, two of them, what I'm going to study and what question banks I'm going to do every day. I have to complete this if I need to pass it. But even that don't assure me that I'm going to pass it because nothing assures you. You're responsible for that. You're responsible for what you do in the exam. So I need to make that mentality that I can do it no matter what question comes up. I'm going to crack it. I think I'm gonna start cleaning up with my room because my room looks a mess. That's what my mind goes into. I'm always on to pushing myself for motivation. And the very first thing is, if my room is messed up, I can't sit there and study. Let's be very straight. I just cannot sit there. My room needs to look aesthetic or at least clean for me to be there. So this is the first step. Clean your environment. You're going to get very positive energies from there. Secondly, I'm very much a visual person. So I made this board and wrote all the days down I'm left till my exam. And I'm going to cross it off every day. This is going to generate a bit of anxiety in me. But at the same time, it is going to motivate me to push through my limits. I'm done cleaning my room and I can't believe it looks so good. day comes when I have to go to work because we all have bills to pay and few fines as well. I work in old age home and we get 15 minutes of paid break and 30 minutes of unpaid break so we can do whatever we want to do in those 30 minutes. This is me studying in those 30 minutes. Working and studying for an exam can be really exhausting sometimes but it is what it is. It's 8.20 a.m. Took a shower. I dolled myself up and I think I'm looking pretty cool for the day. And then I came up with the idea of maintaining a study diary. I'm going to write what I'm going to study today and what I couldn't do yesterday. Just to keep a track. part of the body you will never have sweat on it so i finished one hour session and i'm gonna make smoothie or eat something and then we'll be going to library had a really great study session today i studied five hours till now till 4 p.m and i'm going to go home and relax i slept for one hour and now i've decided i'm gonna go to eat dosa because i'm craving it really badly and then i'll be going to my cousin's house to watch india versus pakistan match so bye i found a new place to eat it's dosa on meals it's in blacktown and I have to say, I just love it. And my favorite one is special dosa. Okay. It's cold. <laughs> hey, so I'm watching the match and it's going really good because one inning is over with 151 something. <laughs> I'm back at home and we won the match and I'm so happy keep going babe you're doing good let's be real guys you're not always gonna be motivated you might even hate the process at some point but you need to remember the main reason you're doing this for 
You might be doing this for your success. You might be doing this because you really want to, you take it as a challenge. You might be doing this for your parents who have hopes from you. You might be doing this for your loved one. He or she believes in you. But yes, you are doing this for yourself because you want to be a successful, reputed nurse in that hospital. Adorable nurse who patients like to be around. Is that your motto? Because this is mine. Doesn't it feel lovely when you actually see success? It feels good, right? Alright, ending my video on a good note. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, guys.